promising, it's encouraging, but it is still in mice. Uh, some researchers at Case Western Reserve University took a drug that is on the market for uh, skin cancer, gave it to mice who have been bred to have Alzheimer's, and it quite rapidly actually improved their cognitive abilities and other symptoms that are associated with Alzheimer's like sense of smell. Was that expected? Was that was that result expected? I, I know that um, Viagra was not Viagra. Um, uh, Robitussin was originally um, a a drug for um, heart disease, but it actually got hair coming back. Well, they certainly knew that this was what they were going after when they went into this trial. The, <clears throat> The, the, the target of the, of the effort was a, a, a common physiology in Alzheimer's known as amyloid plaque. It's a buildup of a certain kind of protein in the brain that's associated with Alzheimer's. And researchers were trying to find a way to clear these proteins out of the brain, to, build, to clear out the, mm. the, which is the natural process. Normally you clear these proteins. Um, and they knew that a different, a drug that was on the market for another purpose had the effect of activating a protein that in turn helped clear the the uh, amyloid protein. So it's a sort of a cascade of events. Now, Stephanie, we've had what looked like promising breakthroughs in, on the yeah. Alzheimer's mm -hmm. front in the past, only to be disappointed. Does, is it different this time? Well, it's, it's another piece of the puzzle. You know, we certainly have had a lot of disappointments in the past, um, and a lot of the efforts that have been targeted at amyloid have been disappointing in the past. One thing that's, that's particularly interesting here is that it not only did it clear out the amyloid, but it in turn had an impact on cognition. So it's, it's, it's a little more exciting than some of the more disappointing failures that we've had where another drug that a, a targeted amyloid actually and worsened cognitive symptoms, um, and that was a, that was one of the failures. But that's also very useful information. When when you get that a failure or a success, it tells you something about you, what what what's going. You learn going. from everything. So this is on basically basically done on on mice brains or mouse brains. Um, pres presumably, a, a mouse brain has some similarities to 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 my brain, but we need to get it. A, you work on some bigger brains. What are they going to do next? A rat brain, a guinea pig, a rabbit? What goes next? Well, since this drug is already approved for human use in another condition, we have a pretty good idea of, of some what the safety and side effects are in humans, but still more research would need to be done specifically in Alzheimer's patients mm. before you could determine the pro proper safe dosage. So certainly you don't want to, uh, for Alzheimer's patients should not go out and try to get a prescription for this drug just yet. But the next step would probably be to start looking at safety profiles in Alzheimer's patients. And is the fact that it is an existing product, um, does, that, does that suggest something more promising than, you know, if I'm a drug maker and I'm investing a lot of R&D into a new product that's really just completely theoretical at this point? I mean, is, there, is, it, is it a more promising path? Ironically, it might not be because this drug is, is, the patents are going to start to expire starting later this year, which lessens the incentives for drug companies to develop it. Ah. That's, so, the profit, that's some the of this might happen in academia. In. Can't they extend? <laughs> I know you can extend patents um, for, for quite a while beyond their original. If you if you can tweak things a bit, is that going to be possible here? Because I think Alzheimer's in our aging population is going to become a serious problem, and it would be great to have a fix for it, right? Well, it will. It remains to be seen whether a drug company wants to pick up this drug and try to create a new indication for it. The, you know, there are just almost just as many hurdles. You still have to go through costly mm. human clinical trials. Mm. Okay. And is there any risk that doctors? are going to start <clears throat> writing this off label? That is entirely possible. Um, patients are who have no options, and there are really very few for Alzheimer's patients, and certainly none that represent a cure, uh, will we'll often tr be willing to try just about anything. And in truth, in truth, there may be doctors that will be willing to write a prescription like this, but there's really not enough known about the safety in this particular patient population to make that probably a very good idea. Yeah.